just gonna head to the first floor gray flooring if i tilt the camera it's all been hoovered there's no hairs there's no dirt there's no stains now there is stains so if you have a look can you see where the foot mat part prints are just on the sides and the corner even though it's clean you can see footwear marks so there's no hairs or dust and then what's this looks like a stain at the top of the stairs just looking down left hand side there is a mark here in the middle of the wall so there is paint peeled Paper peeled, scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark, going up. There's several scuff marks going up, eye level, scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark. And you can see the skirting boards are paints peeled as well, it's very tired looking. And in front, the carpet's fine, it's all been hoovered. This is in front of the ensuite. Door to the ensuite, marks present. And the ceiling is white. You got two holes, very patchy, but no cobwebs or dust. Light bulb working present with lampshade present. Again, light bulb working present and lampshade present. So. This is left of the toilet door. You can see where the papers joint in area. Scuff mark also present. It's not as smooth. Can you see the texture? It's not as smooth. Scuff mark, scuff mark, items. Windows clean with no dust or cobwebs. And if I just turn down, if I head into the bathroom, so there's a white door, but paint's peeled on both the door frames in several areas. Toilet is clean with no hairs, no dust. Fresh is fine. The window's also clean with no hairs, no dust. And inside, there's no cobwebs. Just gonna close the door. No cobwebs, no marks, in really good condition. You do have a cobweb on that wall. Present, but it's really good, really clean. Flooring's also clean with no hairs, no dust. Good condition. The handle's slightly loose, and you've got a mark present in the on the door. Left hand side scuff mark also present and handprint present. I'm just going to turn the light off. And then just head upstairs to the second section. The wall, you can see the walls are patchy, but above where the paper joins, you've got scuff marks present and handprints. Again, very patchy walls above the door to the front bedroom. So the paint's peeled on the door frame, and the doors have marks present with no damage. And then the radiator, very patchy. Paper starting to uplift. No general wear and tear marks though. You do have a cobweb present on the wall. No marks on the round the hand, the light switch. Left of the side bedroom door, clean, but you can see very patchy walls with paper peeling. Marked on the door, but no damage. It's working my way around. The walls are really patchy and you can see where the paper's uplifting. That socket I need to speak to the landlord about. Door currently closed, it's just storage. Items present, heavily marked. Above, you've got scuff marks above the bathroom door. Bathroom door open and close is fine. It's tired looking, slightly patchy as you can see, this is discolored on the left side. Above the door to the smallest bedroom, closed, doors marked but with no damage. You've got paint peeling on the door frame 
and then just working my way around clean condition it's just quite patchy the paint in areas banisters clean with no dust or damage and then if just looking down the banister paint's peeled just really tired looking no dust present so I'm gonna head into the small I'm gonna head into the bathroom light bulb working on present mold present on the ceiling with no cobwebs and then just been told about an issue regarding the shower hose it's leaking to form water in this section and you can see the ceiling is present with mold okay, the towels i'll need to not record the behind the door is in good condition you've got two screw holes and a long scuff mark towards the top and another one and then right hand side scuff mark tiles are clean with no damage no cause for concern, I'm gonna to have to miss the towel above, clean with no cobwebs, no dust, your hand basin, white sealant, left side, marks present, right side, and above, windows currently open. Just going up and down. The bath panel is clean, bathtub's also clean, it's just obviously the sealant. Just showing you the tiles, you've got white sealant and white grout. And the flooring is tiled with no hairs, no dust and no dirt. And then I'm going to head into the smallest bedroom. So this one is currently empty at the moment. So the door is marked in places, open and close is fine. Ceiling is clean, white with no cobwebs, no dust, no stains. Light bulb working in present. And in the second section, oh, I don't think I'll be able to. In the second section, light bulb working in present. So you've got a new mattress protector. Mattress is clean with no stains. And the curtains are window length, not tested. You've got a freestanding wardrobe, grey, with two small, no, you've got one, two, three, four, five small holes in the wall. And then just working my way around. So these walls are marked. They're not heavily marked in places, but marks are visible. They're quite light, so they might not be picked up on the camera, but when you see the walls, you will see they are marked. There's no damage or anything, it's just marks. So look, nice. they're just all small as well. They're not serious, there's no damage on the walls, but marks are present. Above the desk, again, more marks present above the desk. General wear and tear marks. It's actually, as well, a mixture of the paper underneath where it's been painted over. You can see the pattern underneath, so that doesn't help the marks. Then desk, used, clean, with no damage. Black swivel chair, used. And then left. Paint on the skirting boards. Above, you've got an old stain leak on the ceiling and your paper is starting to peel in places scuff marks present mirror securely attached to the wall second section of the ceiling clean however old stain leak present with no cobwebs so you can see scuff marks, handprints present on the walls. There's no damage, it's just general wear and tear marks. And you can see that paper underneath also coming through. Paper peeling above the radiator. Windows are clean from the inside. Underneath, paper peeling. Left of the windowsill and in the corner you can see the papers peeling and bubbling. There's marks towards mainly towards the bottom and marks mainly underneath this window. But the windows are clean from the inside and out. 
and then marks. So again, they're really small marks, but marks are present. You've got a handprint at the top, handprints towards the middle, and then marks more further on towards the bottom. So it's mainly, so it is marked, but you can see the underneath wallpaper as well. So the flooring has all been hoovered with no hairs and no visible dust. And then underneath, I just need to bend down, is this? Yeah, so it's not a stain, it's just the, the shadow. So there's no footwear marks, there's no damage, clean conditions. I'm just going to go turn that light off. Then I'm going to head into the side bedroom. So the bedroom, open and close is fine with no concerns. Paint peeled at the top, paint peeled on the door frame, and you can see it's a different colour. So this section here is white, and this is an off-white. And the carpet is damaged as soon as you enter. Ceiling is white, with, well, off-white, with no stains, no leaks no cobwebs so there is a stain but it's an old stain so it's not it's not leaking anymore um it's just a stain present you've got paper peeling heading down from the walls and then just gonna go up and down the walls so the the walls in general are in good condition you've got handprints left of the light switch and on this wall you've got small small marks so it's just where old blue tack used to be and it's left like a a um, oily residue on the wallpaper and above it's been where it's been patched up you can see it's patchy you've got two picture hooks again you can see where the wall's been patched up and if i get close they're in several different areas you see you've got a red chair you've got door to storage paints chipped towards the bottom paints chipped on the door frame empty paint peeling paper peeling and your paint's chipped on the door frame you've got a black scuff mark left of the left of the window but right of the door you've got a long mark here very faint but present left of the window it's clean above it's also clean the windows are clean from the inside with no dust and no cobwebs window seals also clean you can see there's a little the plastic is uplifting right of the window underneath the curtains clean and then left of the unit it's clean and then above you've got blue tap marks pre present on the wall and you've got some pen marks also in a line present you've got walls which are patchy due to small blue tap marks the desk used and then the door currently closed with no dust or dirt inside walls are marked in places and walls are marked towards the top i'm unable to to reach that one so we have long curtains with marks present on the curtain underneath black scuff marks towards the bottom above the skirting boards window is clean underneath black scuff marks present on the wall but again they're really faint so they are quite hard to pick up on the camera see whether just the paper's just looking tired now and then we've got the second window underneath again marks present but they're really faint marks you you can see them but you've got to be really close to the wall um window is clean from the inside again same with this the plastic it's uplifting and needs some attention underneath it's clean with no cause for concern mirror is clean tiles slash cladding tiles are clean sink could do with an extra clean due to hairs present and then left side oh gosh that's really hard to 
to um to turn it's really hard to turn and then left, right side oh why doesn't that you just need to keep an eye on that one so it doesn't come out straight away you have to turn it a few times and then left of the bed you can see the paper joint and marks present you've got an i'm guessing there was like a socket here that's been removed above the bed it's clean with no damage you do have like a can you see on the shadow on the video just that mark there in the middle and then one further up <clears throat> bed not tested then right of the bed clean and then you've got a cobweb here on the wall and then yeah you do have a black mark two black marks one's at the top and one's in the middle let's try this light light bulb working and present light bulb working and present and lampshade also present so the flooring's all been hoovered there's no visible stains i've been walking on it and if it's been no, no bits on my feet, really good condition, no burn marks, no hairs, no dust. Good condition. So I'm just going to obviously open the windows, just to let some air in. Fantastic. So I'm just going to head into the front double bedroom. Open and close is fine, no concerns on the behind the door. You've got a bit of uh, it's just come off. Ceiling. So the ceiling is tired looking. It's like an off-white, but with no cobwebs and no stains. Light bulb working and present with lampshade also present. So the uh, first issue is I've just been informed about is there's a gap in the window. So you, my little finger can fit through that gap towards the top. It's not so much the bottom, it's the top corner and you can see condensation in between. The panels and windowsills also clean, frames clean. Blinds currently down. Windows clean only from the inside. And then, let's have a look at this one as well. No, it's not this one, it was just the other window, but this is clean from the inside. Brand new carpet with no hairs, no stains, no dust, no footwear marks, no burn marks. Bed not tested. So you've got a four door wardrobe, off white in colour with no damage, items present. I'm going to start doing the wall. So I'm just looking on the ceiling and above the wardrobe you've got a stain. So I don't think that's an active stain but if you can just please keep an eye on it just to see if that does increase in size. So I'm going to do behind, behind the door. Overall in good condition. The walls are an off-white. However, you do have small little marks present. Oh, there's two more further, obviously you can't reach because it's above the bed. Um, and then next to the picture hooks, that right side, and then left side, there's another two marks there with a small screw. I'm just going to come round. Scuff mark, scuff mark, blue tack mark, scuff mark, like a small little nail in the wall with marks around. Skirting boards are white and clean. So you can't get above the wardrobe. Underneath the single window is clean with no dirt, no damage, no mould, no paper peeling. Radiator's white. You've got a bit of paint here and something in the radiator. Windowsill looks clean. Obviously, I've got to try and work around the current stuff. You've got blue tack on the wall here and a black scuff mark above. Paper is looking tired. Above the window, in between the walls. Mark present, mark present, mark present, mark present towards the bottom and a mark present between the socket and papers peeled here and then you've got paper peeled above the skirting board 
and another bit eye level paper has peeled and then you just need to be careful the obviously the wall's not damaged from your your bike you've got mark on the wall here and then another mark here on the wall okay so i've done the carpet i've done the walls and the ceilings then the windows i've reported the issue <clears throat> i'm gonna head into the ensuite bedroom so behind the door mark's present mark 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 not painted so the same as issue similar issue in this bedroom as well you can see air seeping through from the window and it needs some attention both sides just move this paper because it's all uplifting and needs resealing i'm going to head straight into the ensuite so this has been refurbished do the door the door is not brand new scuff marks towards the bottom and marks towards the top paint peeled towards the top and then on the side paint has also peeled and behind paint has peeled in areas and then towards the top paint peeled ceiling is clad in it's all been refurbished clean you can see the sealant's not it's not actually on the cladding, there's gaps. Where's the light? I'll just put the light on. <clears throat> light bulb working and present. So the toilet. Oh, needs cleaning. Toilet needs cleaning. Above white clean, no handprints and no marks. Above the doors also clean. Storage unit, off white colour, not tested. And then just gonna work my way around the room, getting nice and close. So this has been refurbished, so you've got no paint peeling and no mould. In the corner, you can see the skirting boards left. Clean condition, and then above you can see it's not smooth. This section of the wall, tiles grey, grey grout, grey sealant, sink, lime scale present. Water running fine, and then underneath the window it's clean, white, freshly painted with no marks. And the window is clean from the inside with no cobwebs and no dust. Window sills also clean with no concerns. Above the window it's clean. And then right of the window is clean, freshly refurbished. And then above, clean. Skirting boards are new, white. And you can see that it might need resealing again where the bath panel joins the wall. Bath panel, clean, white, so this is all brand new. And you've got a bit of paint towards the bottom on the flooring. Tiles, gray, with a gray grout and gray sealant, clean condition. And you do have current water there, so you just need to keep an eye on that, see if anything's leaking, because there shouldn't be that much water there. And the bathtub is clean with no problems. Flooring's brand new, there's no hairs, no dirt, no dust. Apart from obviously where the paint is, no other concerns. Lovely. And you've got paint peeling underneath the radiator. That skirting board underneath the radiator has not been changed, and nor behind the toilet. So the flooring is clean, it's hoovered with no hairs, no stains. No dirt, no dust, no odour from the flooring.
Okay, so I'm just going to go up and down the walls. So starting as soon as you walk in, right hand side, scuff mark to present towards the bottom of the wall, paper peeling, scuff mark, scuff mark, no lot prints around the hand, light switch above the window, you can see the paper starting to come away from the curtain rail and you've got a dust present. Windows clean from the inside, it's just the issue that I mentioned earlier. And then left clean, you've got paper peeling, scuff mark towards the bottom, scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark, paper peeling, you can see the joint, you can see a splash mark here. And then the unit not tested, and you've got marks above in areas. And then above the bed, it's clean. You've got screw marks, screw. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six little small marks. Some little uh, screw holes. And you've got a um, blue tap mark. This is where the old lights used to be. So I guess they've been changed. Only one is working. That one's working only. Bed not tested. And left. It's actually in all right condition, it's not too bad. No general wear and tear marks. Obviously, I'm not going to move that, but you can see your um, bedside cabinet is tired looking and wardrobe all currently closed. Glass is clean with no handprints. And above, clean condition. So you've got a blue tack mark, blue tack, blue tack, blue tack. Picture hook, picture hook, you see the joint is. And you can see this unit here, tired looking. And then you've got marks on the skirting boards. Photo hooks with one, two, three, four, five, six hooks with a small little blue tack hook in, um, blue tack in the middle. And then above, you've got marks here and one, two sets of handprints. And then further up, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight small little nail marks. Okay, so I'm just going to test the smoke alarm. So I'll turn the light off. Yeah. Just going to test the smoke alarm. Smoke alarm is all working.